Next, we're going to take the pen tool and we're going to start to draw shapes. And that's how you illustrate in this program. So our goal is to trace or redraw two of these characters. Don't choose the elephant. Everybody always gets lost in the trunk. So let me first break down what you're looking at. You have a layer, which is our background layer, which is the item that we're tracing over right here. And then we also have the layers that we're going to draw on. So if I zoom in, here's one that is a former student completed of this head, not the rest of the body, but just the head. But let's look at how this is put together. So with the pen tool, you're drawing all the shapes, but you're arranging them like a stack of papers. Some are in the front, some are in the back. So this is just a circle. And I'm just going to start to pull it apart in a circle, which is in front of this circle, which is in front of this circle. The nose is just two anchor points. The mouth is just two anchor points. The chin is two anchor points. The head is just this shape. And the hair is just this shape. And if I go a little bit further and I just dissect the hair for a second and I look at the anchor points that are on here, I see there's no points on a curve. There's only points where it changes direction. So that is what our goal is. And how do you arrange all of these things? Well, if I put this stuff back for a second, if I select an item, I go up to Object, Arrange. I can bring items to the front or to the back. If you bring forward, it just goes by one layer or send backward by one layer. But send to back takes it all the way behind everything else. So now it's in the back. Or if I select it and I go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front, it'll pull it forward. So that's how you arrange items or shapes on a layer. You also notice Illustrator is a program where you must have a complete shape to fill it with a color. This, for instance, because it's only two anchor points, can't really be filled. This is a complete shape, or this is a complete shape, so it can be filled. Besides the pen tool, there's also a shapes tool. So don't try to draw circles, just use the ellipse tool. So if I use this tool and click and drag, I can make ovals. Or if I hold the shift key, I can make circles. All right, let's give it a shot. And let me, let me just illustrate this guy real quick, just based on what you saw. <clears throat> so the hair, I'm going to click and drag, click and drag. No points on a curve. Also, draw with no fill. No points on a curve. Only where it changes direction. Click and drag. The line goes up. You can click and drag down. I don't care what the back looks like because this is going to end up being uh, behind all these other shapes. So from here, I'll take the anchor point tool. And we'll move this around. Move that around. And there's the lines for my hair. So I can fill this in, and I'll, I'll just fill it in later. So also, because this shape is similar, I can also go to Object, and I can flip or rotate or transform things um, in different ways. So you can, you can mirror them. Um, there's also a tool right here to rotate or to reflect things. So if I just hold the Shift key, I can flip it over and bring that over here. And, and I'll probably draw it, but I'm just showing you that you can do that. Um, let's say I'm going to draw his nose. I'm going to click and drag down. And I'm going to click and drag up. Alt click to let go. The mouth, click and drag. Click and drag. Let go. Click and drag down. Click and drag up. Let go. So for his head, I can click. Click. And I can click and drag. And click and drag here. I don't care what it looks like behind the eye. I'm going to click and drag up, down, click, click and drag here, click and drag here because there's no points on a curve, only where it changes direction. Click, 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 click. And for his eyes, I can use the ellipse tool. So I'm going to just click and drag and get that circle. And because I want them the same size, uh, I'm just going to copy and paste another one of these. So let's start to fill in the colors. So the eyeball is black, so I can just simply flip this over. So right now I have a black stroke with no fill. Or if I swap it, now I have a, a black fill with no stroke. The eyeball is white. So right here I see that there's a black and white, which is a default settings. 
So I got that. Um, skin tone, I can double click and pick any color, just like in Photoshop. It would fill it with that color. There's also a color sample uh, eyedropper tool, which is also in all the programs. So if I click anywhere, it'll pick the color that I sampled. And also this background is dimmed by 50%. So that's why it appears darker. But I also lost my stroke. So if I double click, <clears throat> I can pick black again. So I have my stroke back. There we go. And then the hair, same. I can just sample, double click, add a black stroke again. Same as this, if I want to sample this one exactly, I can take the color picker and just, I have this selected, but I'm gonna sample that one and it makes it like that other one. And then as far as the eyes go, I can just copy. I can paste or paste in place or however I want to do it and move that into position as well. You can move the eyes however we need it to look. And now it's a matter of just arranging. So if I grab the body or the head, I can go to object, arrange, and send it to the back. And now the hair, I can send to the back. Or if I hold the shift key, I can select multiple things. Object, arrange, send to back. And now I've got them. So the last thing I may do is just click and drag and select the whole head so that they're not all separate elements. And go to object, group. And now it just functions as one element. And I can always ungroup it too if I want to. So that's how you draw using the pen tool in a practical way. Again, you have to know that each shape can only be filled with one color. And then arrange these elements so that they're in the right order. So your goal is to redraw two of these characters. Don't pick the elephant.